The Economic Community of West African States sent a delegation to Niger on Wednesday to negotiate with the military coup leaders who seized power last week. Meanwhile, regional defense chiefs started a two-day meeting in the Nigerian capital Abuja. Abdel Fattah Moussa, ECOWAS's Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security. If we can avoid a peaceful resolution of constitutional life in the country, so forget that is our preferred option. But we have to prepare for all eventualities. And, uh, Excellencies, you are here for the final eventuality, the last resort. That is planning for a possible intervention to restore constitutional order. ECOWAS has imposed sanctions on Niger and threatened to authorize the use of force if the coup leaders do not reinstate President Mohamed Bazoum by Sunday. The West African regional bloc has struggled to contain a democratic backslide in the region and had vowed that coups would no longer be tolerated after recent takeovers in Mali, Burkina Faso and Guinea. Mali and Burkina Faso have said that any military intervention in Niger would be considered a declaration of war against them too. ECOWAS has taken its hardest line yet on Niger, closing borders with the country, banning commercial flights, halting financial transactions, and cutting power supply. Niger is a key Western ally in the fight against Islamist insurgents, and the coup has been condemned by foreign powers who fear it could allow the militants to gain ground. Britain's Foreign Secretary James Cleverly met with Nigerian President Bola Tinubu in Abuja on Wednesday. I made the point that the UK very much welcomes uh, ECOWAS's and his indeed decisive uh, action, his strong commitment to democracy and the unambiguous message that violence is not the means to uh, bring political change uh, in, uh, uh, in any circumstance and that the commitment to democracy in, in Nigeria uh, and in the region is unwavering. This very much supports the UK's position.